Good Friday evening, everyone. I hope you've had a good week. I hope the lockdown is, well, that you're keeping busy and active as you can and as sane as you can, uh, enjoying as much of the family time as you can, and, you know, doing some art, keeping creative. I know it's hard. It's hard for everyone. Um, but we will get through this, and we're going to get through it together. So it has been a little while since I've done a video. So I got a bunch of new colors in um, yesterday from Color, uh, Color Passion and uh, from Australia. And... I wanted to show you some of those colors, but before we do that, I've been dying to try a piece, um, a kind of a marble piece, but instead of um, the traditional gray and white, I'm going with white, gray, a very soft pink, and gold. And the colors we're using are Color Passion's Base White Cell. We're using the Peach Cascade, but I added a bit of white to it to make it a very soft, soft pink. Um, and we are using Northern Lights Coal Dust for the dark gray. And we're trying the new Rich Gold from Color passion and so we will get started with that and then we will do the test colors of the new ones I got in so let's get started I'm going to do it on a round and we are going to start with the base coat and I'm going to spread it around this isn't one of my this smaller board over here that we're doing the test is one of my wood guys. This is one that I got a while ago before I found my wood guy. So it doesn't have the nice rounded edges that my wood guy puts in, but um, I wanted this size and I haven't got any on order right now from him. I have a large one that I can make a table out of, but I didn't want to use it right now. And these smaller ones. So I'm using this one to start off with. And we will see how it goes, right? I know the edges won't be as nice, because, like I said, they're not rounded off, so the resin wants to just go right off the sides and not stick to the edges like they do on my good boards, but that's okay. I can always paint the edge gold if I'd like. Okay, so I have got this base done. I am going to heat it up and see how that goes. I also saw a hair two hairs. Yes, I know, put my hair in a ponytail, right? But sometimes I wonder because these are so tiny are they my cat and they're just coming off of my shirt because my hair's not this short. Okay. Okay, so let's give this a bit of a shot with the heat gun. Just to warm it up because I'm going to, instead of pouring my colors, in the marble idea. I thought I'd come up with something else. So let's warm, warm this up. And 
this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with my black or my coal dust and I am putting a chain into the coal dust all the way. So that it's all covered, except for the part that I'm going to need to pull. And I'm just going to drag it across. Do it again. Putting it into the little container and I'm going to drag it in different directions. And I'm going to do this with each of the three colors this, the pink, and the gold. And then just see where it goes on its own. Pretty easy. I think I'll add one more to this. the dusty coal dust, the coal dust. There we go. Okay. So that is the coal dust. Now let's do the pink and no, these aren't sterling silver necklaces these are cheap little and this one's broken i think the other one is too cheap little um coated necklaces that i got i don't know from something that i've had in a little box in my jewelry box of broken pieces And I am just swiping it, dipping it in the cup, letting it all coated. Pulling it out of the cup, straight up. And then just pulling it across where I want the color. And so far, it's kind of cool. A little more of the white off there than I should have. Okay, I'm going to do one more where I think I would like to see it. Straight up. Let some of it run off. And then put it where I want to see it. And there we go with the pink. Should I put a little bit right here? Maybe, maybe, let's see. If 
I just do, let's just do a bit of it, not the whole chain. Pick it up, let it drip. There we go. Okay. Now, the color I'm excited about trying is the new Rich Gold by Color Passion. And here we go with it. Oh wow, this is cool. It is, it's like malted gold. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Way to go, ladies. This is beautiful. And it's already doing my popping up to the top. This is cool. Very good, ladies. So it's working like my gold nugget works, but this is um, rich gold. Rich gold. Very nice. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but now I'm kind of glad I did, but that's where I'll put one. up, drip, 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 and pull you right along there, and let's do one there, and I didn't even fill that one back up, and I'm going to do one more, and then I'm leaving this, and moving on to the new colors, and then I will show you a couple of the molds that I got from Color Passion that I bought in just for me because they're too expensive to bring in in stock. And, and I don't even know if they would do that with their molds, but we will see. There. And then I'm just going to do one right here. Okay, so I'm going to leave this for now. I'm going to put these over here where the mold is because I'm going to make these coaster molds that I got in the same colors as this. And it can be a set. And I am going to put some handles on this. I just decided I will put some handles right here. And I think I know the ones I want. So I'm going to switch my gloves right now while we're busy chatting. And I think... These are a bit too bulky. So let's go with these ones. Yes, yes. One right there. One right here. Yes, yes, there we go, I see a hair, there we 
very good. And I'm not even going to touch this. With heat, with the torch, nothing. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Okay, so I've got to grab a pair of gloves. I'll be right back. Talk among yourselves. Tell a few stories. Sing a song. Never mind. Come back. Okay, so come on over here and I'll show you the new colors. We are going to do a base coat of white on here, just like we did with the big board. But this isn't really going to be anything, it's just for a test. So I'm not really to, oop, there was a hunk. I'm not worried about this. This is just to show you the colors. Okay, so the new colors that came in, I'll go with how I've poured them. The first one is the new olive green by Color Passion. These are all Color Passion. And this is Olive. That's Olive. The next one is uh, Teal Volt Vortex. Teal Vortex. And this is so pretty. So pretty. What a beautiful color. Beautiful, of course, you know I'm gonna love it. It's in the blues. Okay, this one is Burnt Red. These are all in pace, by the way, these ones. This is Burnt Red, and it's a nice, deep, deep red. Very nice. This is mud cake. We're here in Canada, we call them mud pies, but in Australia, I guess they call them mud cake. So it's a nice dark, rich brown, like chocolate. Then this one is violet. Very pretty. Northern Lights has a light lilac that would look so nice next to this. I might try that in another piece. So pretty. Okay, and then this one, which I've been dying to see, is called Dark and Stormy. It's a very dark, dark, dark. It looks like a dark, 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 dark teal, but let's see what it pours out like. No, oh, it's a very dark, dark blue, almost black, guys, almost black. That is so cool. Okay, now these are their new powders and their metallic powders. And this one I want to I want to save for last because, oh my God, it's gorgeous. That is the copper. So this is the soft gold, right? Yes, soft gold. The one I used in that piece is the rich gold. This is the soft gold. But guess what? Let's blow this out, blow this around, and then add the metallics. This is the aluminum. We'll add the metallics after I blow this out. So let's see. Oh, it's right behind me. Now 
Now I know I'm probably just making mud because I added all these colors together, so maybe I should show you the colors bring you down before I turn it probably into mud. So you can see how vibrant these new colors are. That violet's gorgeous. That teal vortex. That um, burnt red is a really, really nice color. I love them all. I am not a green person, so you won't hear me say a heck of a lot about greens, but if you like greens, then that olive green is for you because it's a nice in-between, yeah, nice hair. No hairdresser. Don't trust my husband to have him cut my bangs. Don't trust myself to cut my bangs. Would love to maybe get a box color, but my hairdresser would kill me. And do I really want to spend all that money afterwards fixing up what I ruined, right? Right. Okay, so, now, before it goes to total mud, let's add the beautiful metallics over top. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys. Okay, I just added the silver, but I'll bring you down to see it anyway when, when I'm done. This is the soft gold. Oh, it's pretty too. I'm doing that. But this is the one I've been dying to see. This is the copper. Wow, that is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Very nice. And look at it. Look at, they all do the, uh, just like molted metals. Just gorgeous. Okay, guys, so I'm going to bring you down. And I'm going to show you. Look at, you can see it still popping out. They're still popping out, just like molted. They pop out. See, and that's with, I'm not adding heat, nothing. And they're popping out. I love that. So that are, is all the new colors, guys. They are fabulous. Love the metallics. Love the new colors. Very well. Very good, ladies. Very good. And this is my soft pink gray, gold, and white piece. And I'm going to, I'm not gonna keep you. I got this wonderful square um, coaster mold that I'm gonna make match these from Color Passion. I got this nice little box. It will be a cute little trinket box that I'm going to do up in my blue. And look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but this is their little shells. You know I love doing my own shells. Look at the sparkle in these. I hope, I can't wait till tomorrow to show you and see if the sparkle does come out on the resin. So, okay. So those are the molds that I got from Color Passion. Uh, those are the new colors that we got from Color Passion. That <laughs> okay, so you know what? This is me. This is this is me during a lockdown. Okay, not pretty uh, by any means, but it is what it is. You get me the way I am. Um, I'll tell you something though. I have been waking up a little sore every morning. And Gavin says to me, says it's stress related. I'm one of those people that hold in my stress in, internally and don't realize that I'm stressing. Um, unless it's something major and obvious. And so I thought about it and I thought, okay, yeah, you know what? You're probably right. 
and I thought about what I was stressing about and I realized what it is more than anything else. It's my girls, my girls and my grandbabies. I know they're safe. They're doing exactly what we're doing. They're staying home, only going to the grocery store, one of them and back um, when needed. Um, they're doing great, but you know what? They're no longer under my roof and I can't protect them the way I know I can. I can't keep them safe, them or my grandbabies. And, uh, I guess it's just, you know, in, I'm internally stressing on it. I miss them so much. I mean, we've been doing some great stuff. We had, a. My oldest daughter made up an art or a face page group and we did um, little talent night videos, which were great. We've got Zoom and we all get together and, and chat on Zoom. My daughters and my ex and his, my ex's wife and her daughters and daughter-in-law. All of us get together on Zoom and we chat and we play card games from this app called Evil Apple. And you can do both at the same time. And oh my God, it's fun. So we are doing stuff. And we're probably actually, some of us, talking more than we would normally. But I miss the physical. And mostly hugging my grandbabies and cuddling my grandbabies. And I miss that. And I know you guys are too. But we will get through this. Even if we end up looking like uh, it. From the Adams family, we will get through this. So, guys, you go be creative, go stay safe, love your family, and uh, I will see you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.